Hey guys, what is up? Today we have another laptop in the Tech Dave Unboxings hands-on and first impressions. We have a really interesting one today. This laptop is for you guys who want a great laptop, awesome performance, at a really, really nice price point, aka cheap. This is the Asus VivoBook Ultra, and this is the A512 variant, and this one starts at 2,899 ringgit. All right, so let's unbox, I was about to say phone. This is a laptop. Let's unbox this laptop, shall we? All right, look, this is an unboxing experience. You open it up and it says, in search of incredible, and you take it out. So this one right here is the color transparent gray, as you can see over here. Now, in the box, it also comes with paperwork. Some extra parts as well as the charging brick, which I really like, by the way, because look how small and compact this is, and it's so easy to bring around. All right, and that is all that is in the box. All right, so first impressions show, whoa. The inside looks like this, as you can see, it has a very nice full keyboard with the number pad to the left here. We, once we already unboxed the Asus Zen book before and it didn't have that, now we do. So if you guys like the number pad, it's right over here. And the speakers are done by Sonic Master, which is really cool. So on the side here, I'm actually already seeing something I really like, which are the ports. So the ports here come with three USB Type A's, a one USB Type C, an audio jack, a HDMI port, as well as micro SD card reader, which is really nice. So in terms of connectivity, you're not going to have a problem with this laptop. And also, if you can see over here, what I really like is the very, very slim bezels over here. It does boast an 87% screen to body ratio. This laptop also features the Ergo uh, lift hinge, similar to the Asus ZenBook uh, 13, which is when you guys open it up, it actually lifts the bottom, it actually promotes airflow, it actually helps with the sound. Now, let's talk tech specs. This device comes with the Intel Core i5 MX250 NVIDIA graphics card, 512 uh, HDD, as well as four gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty good for something at this price point. Now, we've come to the point to talk about what we liked and didn't like about this laptop. Let's start off with what we liked. Firstly, first of all, I absolutely love and adore the speakers on this one. Much more than I liked the previous laptop. This one is done by Sonic Master and the speakers are underneath here. And what's really awesome about it is that it delivers some really loud and crisp sounds. We tried some music on it, we tried some videos on it, and it is perfection. If you guys love listening to music on loud, if you guys like watching movies, this would be a really great choice for you. Next up, we have the keyboard. I actually really love the keyboard. The placement of the keyboard is nicely positioned of each key, which means that your fingers aren't gonna feel too cramped when you're typing. Also, the ergo lift hinge right over here actually gives it a really nice tilt up as well, which means typing on this is not gonna be tiring. It's actually such an enjoyable experience. And pressing the keys feels good as well. So overall, this is a really, really good keyboard and something you might wanna consider. Now, last one, let's talk about the price point. 2,899 ringgit for this. I think, I cannot think of a better steal than this. So price point is definitely in our list of likes. Now, let's talk about what I didn't really like about this laptop. The laptop feels extremely flimsy. So I found that out earlier while wiping the screen. Because this laptop is, you know, is at this price point, you aren't gonna expect a solid build, but it is pretty flimsy. Like if you can see over here, I can actually do this. And it's something for you to notice. It is kind of fragile, so you might break it. You might also wanna be careful with this, but that's just a warning. The rest are pretty good. Third point, I didn't really like how tight the hinge is. 
So when you open up the laptop, it is to note that it's because it's so tight, you're gonna have trouble opening it with one, with one hand. You might wanna use two hands to open up the laptop. Like for me, I'm a very lazy person. I love opening my laptop with just one hand. But for this one, you're gonna have to use two hands because it's kind of tight. Though I cannot confirm if it will remain tight forever or if it will get you know less tight over time. Just to note, guys. But overall guys, there's not a lot to dislike about this laptop at this price point. I really think this laptop is a huge steal. I definitely recommend this laptop for those of you who just wants to use laptops for like everyday use, like writing your assignments, typing out articles, watching movies, listening to music, you know, all the simple stuff. I definitely recommend this. So that's all we liked and disliked about the Asus VivoBook Ultra. I love this. Please go get it. It's a very good laptop. So if you guys want to see more unboxings, hands-on and first impressions for any technological device, do check out our YouTube as well as our Facebook page, technave.com because we have some really, really cool stuff lined up for you guys. And let us know in the comments what you guys want to see us unbox and give our first impressions on next. I'm Natasha and I'm going to sign out and go play some nice tunes on this laptop. See you guys.